you. I can turn it. Good evening. I'll call this meeting of the Cartersville City Council to order. If you'll please stand for invocation and pledge. Good evening, everyone. Let us bow our heads and pray. Our Father in heaven, we pause at this time to give you all the honor and all the glory that you so rightly deserve. We are so thankful at this time to stand and be at the seat of government of Carsonville, Georgia, to do the business of the city as you see fit. Come down and give us wisdom and understanding to make the wise the decisions that is pleasing to you. And we'll be so grateful. We ask these blessings and all blessings in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Draper, roll, please. Carrie Hodge, Ward 1, here. Jay Stepp, Ward 2, here. Carrie Roth, Ward 3, here. Calvin Cooley, Ward 4, here. Gary Fox, Ward 5, here. Pat Wren, Ward 6. Thank you, Julia. First order of business tonight is the approval of our council meeting minutes from June the 15th. And council, you've had these well in advance and had an opportunity to look them over. Now would be the time to make any adjustments if any are needed. If there are none, the motion's in order. Motion Second. to approve. Second. All in favor of Kate by saying aye. Aye. The motion carries unanimously. Council, I'm going to ask uh, for there to be a motion to add two items to the agenda this evening. Second. All in favor of Kate by saying aye. 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 Two items are added. Mr. Lovell, if you will handle I these will. items the, the first item to add is a uh, resolution to approve a moratorium on um, specialty shops in the downtown business district for uh, basically 90 days. Um, the reason for this is basically that, um, as most of you know, we've had numerous requests for specialty <laughs> shops recently, and you know we're creating different definitions for one one type of business versus another type of business. And we just want to review our ordinances, compare with other jurisdictions, and come up with a uniform definition for specialty shops for staff to enforce downtown. Because right now we have basically different requirements for every store you walk into. And it's not workable for staff to continue to having to enforce matters like that. So I would recommend that that moratorium be approved by the uh, council. Okay, is there any discussion? If there's none, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor to keep it saying aye. Aye. The motion carries unanimously. Next item, please. Um, the next item is, um, we have just uh, completed a uh, internal review of the city's adult entertainment ordinance and realized that we did not have um, several things that are have been updated by the communities including um, the sale of adult instruments and devices novelties and paraphernalia to be regulated as part of your adult entertainment ordinance um, what i would ask y'all to do is to pass a moratorium on us issuing any new permits related to those type of establishments under the adult entertainment ordinance or any permits by the city in general for those types of establishments for a period until September 30th of this year, during which time myself, Chief Police, and Mr. Menino's department will be getting together and revising our adult entertainment ordinance to include these and other revisions as well. Um, this moratorium is recommended by staff at this time for your approval. Thank you. Is there any discussion? If there is no discussion or any questions, motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of keep it saying aye. Aye. The motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Menino, if you'll get us going with ZMA 23-01. Thank you, Mayor and Council. This is an annual amendment to the zoning map. We take the previous year's annexations and zonings, put them on, put them on the map, and readopt it. Uh, with that, uh, this is a second reading. There have been no additions or changes since the last reading. Thank you. Any questions for Randy on the zoning map? If there's none, I'll open up a public hearing for ZMA 23-01. Anybody wish to step forward, speak for or against may do so at this time. And seeing none, I'll close the public hearing for ZMA 
23-01 and turn over to council for consideration. Motion to approve. Good Second. answer. Good answer. All in favor and keep it saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. <clears throat> T23-03, Mr. Menino, please. Thank you again, Mayor and Council. This is actually 26 amendments to our current zoning ordinance um, in order to comply with the state legislature's adopted changes to the zoning procedures law. Um, city attorney went through our ordinance and made the changes that are necessary for that compliance. With that, we did take it to the Planning Commission. They have recommended approval, and there have been no additions or changes since the first reading. Thank you. Any questions for Randy on this item? Thank you, sir. And now we'll open up a public hearing for T23-03. Anybody wishing to step forward, speak for or against, may do so at this time. And seeing none, I'll close the public hearing for T23-03 and turn it over to council for any other questions, discussions, or motions. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. One more time for you, Randy. Thank you again. Getting your up downs in here. This will be my last time. Um, this is our annual software, uh, annual amendment, uh, our annual software maintenance agreement with that. Um, the price is now $22,747.38. It is a budgeted item. It did go up 9% since last year's uh, fee. Thank you. Any questions for Randy? Any discussion? If not, a motion's in order. Make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor and by saying aye. Aye. The motion carries unanimously. Mr. Dixon, you have a handful this evening as well. Actually, just a couple. Good ones, though. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, the gas system is requesting the purchase of 3,300 feet of steel pipe for the Great Valley Parkway extension. <clears throat> Three bids were, were requ requested, but only two were submitted. Uh, Irby Utilities of Kennesaw, Georgia submitted a low bid of $58,839. Um, this is a budget item. Council's approval is recommended. Thank you. Any discussion? If not, a motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, the captain saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Continue on, Michael. <clears throat> yes, sir. <clears throat> this is a uh, natural, <clears throat> natural gas service agreement that has been negotiated with SK Battery America Incorporated outlining the terms of natural gas service for their facility. Their usage is anticipated to ramp up over the next seven years to a total of 11,000 decatherms per day by 2023. Their maximum usage at that time would be equivalent to the city's overall natural gas consumption on a cool day in the month of February. Uh, the gas system anticipates that system improvements totaling approximately $10 million will be necessary to serve this volume. Under the terms of the agreement, <clears throat> SK America Incorporate has agreed to pay a minimum monthly bill for its natural gas usage over the course of seven years or until the city has recuperated its capital outlay, whichever occurs first. The gas system anticipates the capital outlay to be recuperated within five years, depending on the actual cost of natural gas. SK has executed the agreement. It's been accepted by the city attorney's office and council's approval is recommended for the city to enter into this agreement. Thank you. Make any comment. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, Michael Dixon and Brian Friary have done a tremendous job, as well as Keith, uh, reviewing this contract. There's a lot of back and forth with our uh, Korean counterparts, but they've done a, been very professional, very courteous to them, and, and basically shared with them our costs. And I appreciate all the work you guys put into this. I know it's a long, long road, but obviously it's been a big uh, day for Cartersville, so I appreciate everything you guys have done to make this happen. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions or comments or discussion? If not, a motion is in order. Make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor and keep it saying aye. 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 The motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Michael. Uh, Dan, you've got the next one. Yes, sir. The first one uh, is amendment to the 178 West Main Street property sale and concept plan. Uh, as we discussed in the work session, I will just ask for approval of the resolution just for the, basically to approval of the 178 property sale changing from J.B. Henderson to uh, Womack Brothers LLC. Uh, that would be the approval of that resolution. Uh, everything in the contract will stay the same, just change of the actual buyer on that. Okay, any questions on this item or discussion needed? If there's none, a motion is in order. 
The motion to approve the amendment for the 178 West Main Street property to change to Womack Brothers as the buyers. Second. Got a motion to second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. The motion carries unanimously. Chief Carter, you're up, sir. Good evening, Mayor and Council. I'll bring before you tonight, first of all, the uh, annual purchase award for fire department physicals for our firefighters. This is through Site Med of Kennesaw. Uh, they've also provided us annual comprehensive physicals to cover all the different aspects of firefighting and also through the year they give us medical support for clearance of our firefighters if they're injured. Meets in FPA 1982. For our hazardous materials members, it also uh, meets all the OSHA guidelines, all this particular lab testing. The annual cost this year is $28,670, which is up 4% over last year, but it is a budgeted item. All services and invoices will be completed and turned in by December the 15th. Thank you, sir. Questions or comments for the chief? If there are none, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, keep it saying aye. 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 And motion carries unanimously. Next item, please, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. The uh, fire department respects request approval of the annual renewal for our vector solutions. And this is a cloud-based software that is the record management software for our training, supplies, and all of our equipment. The cost of this renewal is $11,006, and it is a budgeted item. Thank you. Questions, comments, or motions? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. The motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Mr. Hampton, your turn. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, first item, I believe, is, yes. Uh, this is the MV90 upgrade uh, where we're requesting authorization for. Uh, this is our software we use to uh, help do the billing for our large industrial customers. It gets our hourly data that we need to perform their billing. Um, this is uh, a, a, a software version that we have now is, is becoming obsolete. They will no longer support it. So we have no choice. They kind of actually dragged it out for us because we needed to wait until this budget. But uh, the amount is $8,602. Uh, it is from my charge. It's a sole source thing, and it's a budgeted expense. Thank you, sir. Any questions or discussion? If not, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, keep it saying aye. 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 Most carries unanimously. Next item, please. Okay, next item is uh, we also requested authorization to purchase a pallet of uh, two S meters, which is our standard 200 amp meters, residential meters. Uh, this is a, uh, just some meter, meters to have in stock for day-to-day uh, -day operations. Uh, we're requesting these from the equipment controls company that we're currently uh, buying meters from for the AMI project we're underway. Um, the total price for the 224 meters is $37,755.20, and uh, it is a budgeted expense. Thank you. Any discussion? If not, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor to keep it saying aye. 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 Motion Thank carries you. unanimously. Thank you. Mr. Foy, you've got the next two. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, Public Works wheeled excavator encountered some issues that prevented the swing arm of the excavator not to move. After inspection by a tractor and equipment company of Calhoun, Georgia, it was determined that the swing transmission would need to be replaced. This repair was completed in order, in order to utilize this piece of equipment on an active job. Uh, the cost of repair was $20,357.46, uh, which was less than the proposed cost to repair. Uh, Public Works requests approval of this invoice from TEC. Uh, the repair will be paid from our maintenance of vehicle and equipment budget. Okay, thank you. Any questions? If not, a motion's in order. Motion, motion to approve. approve. Second. All in favor to keep it saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Next item, Steve. Okay, next item. Um, City of Cartersville currently has several quotes to purchase a, I'll just say, <clears throat> flash and beacon. It's technically a rectangular rapid flashing beacon, RRFB, through a Georgia Department of Transportation LMIG Safety Action Program grant to install an existing crosswalk. Um, the Georgia Department of Transportation has notified the City of Cartersville Public Works that we have been <clears throat> awarded up to $6,800. Um, we are requesting council's approval to allow this allow Public Works to purchase a <clears throat> flashing beacon system to install 
at the existing crosswalk crossing Pine Grove Road at the Dellinger Park main entrance. Uh, the lowest and best quote for this flashing beacon is from Southern Lighting and Traffic for $9,050. We are requesting that council approve this purchase of the flashing beacon with costs and miscellaneous materials not to exceed $9,700. 70% of this cost will be reimbursed uh, through the grant aforementioned. Uh, this is not a budgeted item, but will be paid by the 2020 SPLOS funds. Right. Mr. Mayor came from a request from Councilmember Roth and actually from the citizens. Obviously, if you drive down Pine Grove, you need to see the number of people that walk across there and sometimes traffic does not stop for them. So it's recommended for your approval. Well, and I would also say, you know, um, a couple of years ago, the electric department put in a brighter light street light there at that crosswalk and that really helped a lot at yeah. night. But I know that that street can and we've taken some pine trees down there at the entrance for better visual sight. Um, I appreciate um, Parks and Rec Director Steve uh, Roberts doing that. And so I think that helps and these will mm -hmm. also help in the safety of that uh, right. crosswalk that, that's there that gets used quite often. And, um, and so I appreciate you working on getting this great. Yeah. Yes, that. sir. So thank you. Okay. Would you like to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve. Thanks. All in favor to keep the saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Steve. Dan, you got the next couple, yes, sir. Yes, uh, The next one is surplus donation. Uh, so the city of Taylorsville reached out to, for this tar kettle trailer that we've had. We're going to put on Gov deals. Uh, obviously, to me, it was better to donate to them to need, for an EDC that obviously needs something like that. It does need, need some work on igniters. So I recommend approval of this donation of this piece of equipment. Questions, comments, or motions? Make a motion to approve the donation to the city of Taylorsville. Second. All in favor to keep the saying aye? Aye. aye. The motion carries unanimously. Next item. Next item is water sewer bond re reimbursement. Uh, as we recall, a few weeks ago, a few meetings ago, Wiedelman and Singleton, you approved that contract with them for engineering work for potential water and sewer bond issue for expansion of the treatment plant and eventually uh, the police patrol plant. This will allow us to get reimbursed for those engineering fees going forward and any other costs associated before we issue an actual revenue bond sometime next year. So I recommend this for your approval. Thank you. Any discussion? If not, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor to get by saying aye. Aye. And the motion carries unanimously. Mr. Roberts, your turn. Good afternoon, Mayor and Council. Um, this is to renew our program provider contracts. Um, it is for Little League, uh, Carterville Little League, which uh, does youth baseball, Southern Soccer Academy, which does their youth soccer and camps, Top Chef Concession, which is one of our concession, or the only concession provider we have, and Wire to Wire, which uh, provides running clubs. Top Chef will be a 15% monthly revenue. And wire to wire will give 25% of their gross monthly revenue and non-resident fee will be paid fully to the city. Um, I do uh, look for approval. Just to well, clarify, the three top well, I guess that's really not anything voted <laughs> on, but yeah. The top shelf one you're asking for. The top shelf, the, yes, I'm sorry. Calendar year, we did. We are running that one through uh, December 31st. Um, the time frame works better for Parks and Rec uh, during that time. If we wanted to make a switch, it would be a lot easier to make that switch than in July when we're right in the middle of um, our pool season. So. Okay. Thank you. So if a motion would be made that would at least note that change since that's different than the documentation we have uh, on the original agenda. Is there any questions or discussions on this item? If there's none, a motion is in order. A motion to approve with the amendment to the top shelf. Second. All in favor to keep us saying aye? Aye. aye. The motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Next item, please, Steve. Uh, at the Senior Aquatic Center, we did have a pump and a um, heat exchange uh, go out. Um, the quoted uh, for parts and service for the heat exchange was 18800 Fifty dollars, and that was by Aero Mechanical, and the to rebuild the pump um, was forty-seven sixty-five, and that was also by Aero Mechanical. Um, it is not a budgeted item, but we do have that in our maintenance account, so I would recommend approval. Okay, thank you. Any discussion? If there's none, a motion's in order. 
Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of the by saying aye. Aye. The motion carries unanimously. Thank you, sir. Mr. Beck, your turn. First timer? You done this? <laughs> Second time. That's right. That was the week I wasn't here. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to I don't want to relive the first time. Do we need to go into the line item discussion again? <laughs> Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council. Yeah, so the first item that we have is a 1,000 horsepower uh, motor for number three uh, high service pump at the water treatment plant. It's giving us some high temperature alarms and we suspect a faulty temperature sensor is the cause, but the pump has to be taken out of uh, 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 service and taken to the shop to be disassembled and inspected. Uh, as this pump is, a, is vital for operating during the warmer months, we were, had requested quotes from coal technology for a turnkey motor repair. We received the quotes for a recondition, a rewind, and or a new motor, uh, but we expect it to only be the recondition. Uh, however, we are recommending a approval of not to exceed of $65,000 just in case it does have to be uh, the, the rewind cost. This is a budgeted item. Thank you. Questions, comments, or motions? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Next one, Brent. <clears throat> the second item that we have is the actuator for our number three final clarifier uh, sludge valve uh, needs to be replaced. We received quotes for the replacement, including the installation and the calibration. Uh, we, we are recommending that the low bid of $12,152.08 by Georgia Western, including the four week lead time for material, uh, uh, be approved. And this item is a uh, budgeted item. Thank you. Any discussion? If not, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor to get the saying aye. Aye. The motion carries unanimously. Last one, Steve Brent. The last item that we have is just material stock for our water distribution and collections uh, warehouse. Um, we are recommending the award uh, to, to purchase the items to the low bidder of consolidated pipe and supply for 16000 $352.92, and this is a budgeted item. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Any discussion? If not, a motion's in order. Make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor to keep it saying aye. Aye. And motion carries unanimously. Thank you, sir. Time for the Stephen Greer Show. That's right. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, this first item is a request to purchase a new IP phone system that will replace the current phone system that was installed back in 2017. Uh, the current system was discontinued uh, into sale, end of life already by the manufacturer. So uh, the new system will give us some features we don't have. Um, total amount is $102,613.40 from CMP Technologies. This is a budgeted item and to be funded by the uh, 2020 SPLOS and I recommend this for your approval. Any discussion? If not, a motion's in order. <coughs> motion to approve. Second. All in favor to get by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Next one, please. Uh, this is a budgeted annual uh, support renewal for our LaserFish document imaging system. Uh, it's a cloud-based system we use for all of our document management. Uh, total amount is $9,886 from MCCI and it's recommended for your approval. Questions, comments, or motions? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of the saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Okay, this item is the construction and installation of a fiber pathway to be built into the new Advocates for Children on Joe Frank Harris Parkway. Um, total amount is eighteen thousand eight hundred forty and seventy three cents from NCI. Um, portion of this install is going to be paid by the customer. Um, this is not a budgeted item, but uh, this is a twenty twenty splost, and we recommend this for your approval. Thank you. Questions, comments, or motions? Motion All in favor, to keep it saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. <coughs> Okay, this next item is the request to purchase security cameras and license plate readers for uh, Dillinger Park uh, entrances and the entrance to the Pine Mountain uh, Trail parking lot. Um, this is also includes additional parking lot cameras for uh, Dillinger Park uh, tennis area and basketball court parking. 
Um, this is uh, $15,368 from Vicon. This is not a budgeted item, but uh, will be funded by the 2020 SPLOST, and I recommend this for your approval. I should have asked this in the work session, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Um, but the other, like the baseball complex and the league field areas, are those things that we've maybe perhaps discussed maybe doing in the we in can, future years? We can absolutely look into Well, it. I'll leave that up to the Recreation Department yeah. to decide this is what we, we were approached. One. Yeah, we were approached, or, or Chief McCann approached the Rec Department when Tom Gilling was here, and then, and then we got involved. But this, like I said, the license plate reader was an idea we kicked around years ago, but we had to wait until the technology caught up. For gotcha. digital cameras. So. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? If not, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor to keep it saying aye. Aye. The motion carries unanimously. City server hardware update. Yeah, this is a um, this is a request to purchase new servers for um, our virtual hardware or virtual server system that we uh, we bought in 2017. This is on about a five year refresh cycle for us. Um, they're used for providing our financial system and at all of our applications for city users. Um, total amount is $78,031.52 from Fiber Store. This is a budgeted item and it is a 2020 SPLOST also. And we recommend this for your approval. Thank you. Questions, comments, or motions? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor to keep by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. <coughs> Um, this is a software purchase for the hardware uh, from the previous item. This is the software that makes our virtualization work and the software that's used to back up all of our city data. Um, total amount is $53,068.39 from CDWG. It is a budgeted item, 2020 SPLOST, and we recommend this for your approval. Okay. Any discussion? If not, a motion's in order. Make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor to keep it saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. This next item is the uh, fiber pathway installation for Q cells on Great Valley Parkway. Um, this is to provide our Fibercom internet service uh, for Q cells and the adjacent construction trailer city area. Uh, total amount is $85,810.40 from NCI. Not a budgeted that item, but uh, this is 2020 SPLOST, and we recommend this for your approval. You mentioned the work session. I think people want to hear the approximate payback time for. Uh, I said approximate. We're not going to hold you to two years. It just depends on how many uh, construction trailers we serve. We've already got several, two or three rolling in, so there should be even more. Plus the plus the Q cells has got yeah. you know a fair amount of bandwidth, so I would say two years or less. He's already you're already signed the engineering firm out there. Oh, there work with and, and We've uh, got so. several contracts already for the construction trailer, and several more coming in. And Q cells themselves will likely have a construction trailer circuit too. So great, thank you. And yeah, the, I'm sorry. This is this is the what picture I was asked or earlier in the work session. Basically, these are the customers Steve's already got basically for the investment that Mayor Council approved several years ago to get out to the industrial park. We had to pass by a grid out to uh, you know get out that way, so you can see where we, he's picked up a number of customers for the payback on the investment to get out to Highland 75. So, yep. If you build it, they will come, right? I hope so. Just head on up to Dalton. <laughs> Let's keep going. The, uh, Questions, Mr. comments, or motions on this item? Make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor of the case saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Aye. Last item. Last one. Um, this item is the um, support renewal for our Office 365 software for all of the city end users. Um, this is what we use for our office productivity, uh, email communications, and system security. Uh, the total is $82,861.68 from CDWG. This is a budgeted item, and we recommend this for your approval. Any discussion? If not, a motion's in order. Second. All in favor to keep it saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Go ahead, Jay, say it. 30 items in 29 minutes, that ain't too bad, is it? That's pretty good. That's good. <laughs> good thing we don't have one of those consinogens, is it? And again, five minutes. we... Uh, <laughs> We take an awful lot of time and effort on the front end and then during our work session ironing out so these meetings go a little bit uh, a little bit more uh, expeditiously. Is there anybody uh, wishes to step forward to make comment? Now would be the time to do so. Step forward, please, sir. 
And when you do, I'll need you, when you get up here to the microphone, I'll need you to give your name and your address so that our clerk can record that into the minutes, okay? You just adjust that microphone however you need it oh, to be. Oh, yeah. No number. There. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mayor and uh, Council, my name is Gary Palmer. I reside at 28 Ridgeview Drive, Cartersville, 30120. I was I was here before they had zip codes, my, but uh, I I was born in 1946 in the hospital about where that water line's going now. That uh, uh, then the, raised on in, on Gilmer Street. Mm -hmm. uh, went to the Grand Theater when it's 15 cents, and uh, you can get a Babe Ruth candy bar for five cents. All those things, but uh, and I stayed in this town until 18 years old came back with family in tow uh, 20 years later, and I love this town. The amenities, the things around us, absolutely amazing. Everything here. Uh, Logan, I don't guess you've got a copy of that uh, uh, display window, have you? Uh, you all know what I'm talking about too, don't you? Uh, it's burned in my, it's etched in my memory right now. You guys know what I'm talking about. Everybody's walked down that sidewalk there, sometimes with your children. Uh, the, one of the establishments to the left, right of that, they're hurting right now because this should not happen. This should not happen. Uh, we left the door open somewhere. I say we. I mean, I should be a more informed uh, citizen. I need to be. Uh, I need to start paying more attention to what's around us. Our uh, moral compass is being hurt by what's happened with that. I heard something about a specialty store, whatever they call this thing over there. Uh, I think it's called general merchandise. Uh, nobody really saw what was happening in there. I'm not going in there to find out either. Uh, but I'll tell you one story. On the, July the 4th, I go to the, uh, the parade, come down, and I said, well, I'm going to walk down that way and go get a free hot dog at the, at the uh, Friendship. And this couple was getting out of the car, right, right about where that, that display window is right behind me there. And uh, he gets out, uh, and the, the, the uh, wife, and uh, we talk a little bit, and he says, that he points out, he said, I came from Pennsylvania to come to Cartersville so that I didn't have to deal with this stuff anymore. That's what he said. Now, our tour tourism, our uh, all of the great things we have in this square right here, the amenities of the rivers and the mountains, all but right now, the reason I said where I I am, a, you know, I'm a native of this area, and Cartersville is my home. That shouldn't happen. I I felt like I heard something about maybe a, adult entertainment, and so y'all are working on some things right now. Uh, I'd like to be a part of that too, but the thing is, you guys, you have a lot going here, a lot of great things. We don't need to let that be here. If you get one thing like that, it just multiplies and it gets worse. Our tourism, but our families, our, my nine grandchildren won't be able to walk down that street, that sidewalk, in, without seeing something like that. We don't need anything like that. Uh, so that is what I had to say. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Time to step forward. And seeing none, anything else needs to come for council tonight? No. Uh, yeah. Um, um, what? Oh. Whoa. Oh, wow. So, wow. apologize for my hair being all messed up. And I traditionally don't wear flip flops to council. Well, I have before. But, Carsville's well represented this year with uh, our Little League program. Uh, the eight year olds won state. Uh, the 10 and 11s are sending off. They're going to Martinez Evans and long ways over to Rockmark. <laughs> uh, so they play state and the uh, 
I think the elevens are in uh, Savannah, actually. So all three of them are leaving. They are playing starting Saturday morning. Uh, the twelve-year-olds play next weekend in Smyrna. So well represented in those age groups. So. Uh, keep up with WBHF, paper, whatever, uh, social media, and watch these boys and root for them. Uh, maybe we'll get a state title out of it. Uh, we already got one, eight-year-olds. So, good. Go Canes. Well, there you go. Well said. Anyone else? <clears throat> Chair Montana, motion to adjourn. So moved. Stay gold. All right, we're going back out there.